and welcome yet again to my YouTube channel. It is always with great excitement to welcome you here. And by now you know that if you're seeing this face, today we have two. But if you're seeing this face, it can only mean one thing and one thing only. And that is you are tuned to my YouTube channel. Welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, I love you. You know you're close to my heart. Mwah! And if you are new, please feel at home and hit the subscribe button. So today I have in my list, in my company, Miss Mobile. Some of you know her as Udiva, right? <laughs> and I bet by the end of this show, you will understand why she's the diva, right? So as I have communicated that much is meaningful conversations and much. And to start it off, I thought what better way to start it than to start it with the word of God, right? So which brings us to today's theme, which is standing firm in your faith as a young adult and i thought which better person to have this conversation with if it is not miss diva herself so yeah. hey ma'am hello miss yeah. barley <laughs> extremely excited somewhat nervous yes, i need to talk in my head. yeah no nervous, yeah it's important <laughs> more than anything excited excited and motivated right right i'm so happy to like we've been talking about how much we should hook up all the time and, and i'm just like ah! All right. right. This was your exactly. Exactly. He just gave us a why and a why that made sense. All right. So before we started off, maybe tell us about who Mobile is. Yes. Yeah. Where you from? What do you do? So that we get a feeling of who you are. All right. Um, I am Mobile Ngosi, a 29 year old, only for this month because next year we're hitting the big 30s. Oh my gosh. Is the 30 guys. <laughs> How are you, 30 Yes, she is. Okay. I know I should be minus 10. I, the, I mean, I mean, okay, let me not just have the intro. I, yeah. Yeah, so uh, Mobile Ngozi, yeah. a 29-year-old who's turning 30 soon and born and bred in Togos and the East Rand. I am actually from the East Rand. Okay, yes. all right. And in Togos, the East Rand. And who am I? Fearfully, wonderfully made. And I think I should add that I am Christian. Yes. Yeah, I am Christian, mm -hmm. proudly so, devotedly so, yeah. and I think we will just yeah talk about Delve why I yeah. want to, to to just you know put emphasis you on know, that. emphasize yeah. you know, what I am Christian. Right. Yes. Okay. So this reminds me. <laughs> let me tell you guys about the first time I saw movie. <laughs> <laughs> When I first met you, when I first saw you, brother, let me not say met because maybe it was a distance, right? Yeah. So we, I was in the SRC. We went to the same college and left the same college. So I was emceeing the debate uh, uh, event, yes. right? Exactly. So now, okay, I do my thing. I MC, I MC, and then it is your team. And then comes this lady. Did she not strut her way to the front? My God, the way she walked to the front. And then she got to the audience with the pen. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I am Mobile Diva. I'm like, listen, that girl is my thing. That girl, I think you did. I don't know if you did, but you did. Like the way you spoke, and I think it it, it, it put it, it highlights what you just said that you are wonderfully and fearfully made. We can see that in how you carry yourself. You are sure about who you are. And I think what makes it more beautiful is that it is not it doesn't end on you are sure on who you are, but you are sure on who you are in God. Right. And I think that is what makes it even much more beautiful, mm -hmm. right? You know, I just want to add there we yeah. see, Christ says we we should we should come to him boldly. Mm -hmm. And when you enter into Christ, it's not it's 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 not you walking in. I'm definitely I you know, I'd like to believe that People, you know, think I'm confident. I, I am, but it's confident in Christ. I'm, mm -hmm. I've got my shy moments. Like I feel like I'm shy right now, but because of Christ, <laughs> yeah. It's like, hey, go out there yes. today. Even uh -huh. I decided I'm gonna come and wear this green um, jumpsuit sort of thing, which is yeah. like a bit. It's not short, but I think it's like the isha. Okay. And then as I was going to iron it, mm. like Holy Spirit said, you're going to represent me. All right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and then as I took it out, I'm like, oh, yes, God. Yeah, I'm representing you. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh, man, that is so that is so beautiful, and I love that about you. So maybe tell us about how you got saved. Your first encounter with God. It was in 20, 2009, okay. 
February the 14th. I love the date. Hello. I don't talk about it. Yeah. Over and over. <laughs> so many things just happened on that day. Yeah. Um, but it was 2009, February the 14th. I was um, a student at the National School of the Arts, high school in grade 11. Alrighty. And during that time, we were attending um, a church. Oh, it was Sundays, yeah, but Sunday evenings at, okay. at, at Vitz. And it was under the church called His People at the time, which is now called um, Every Nation. Okay. Right. So we're attending, and I was excited at the time. I wouldn't know what we're doing. We're going to a, a varsity, a one of my varsity people. You know, yeah. it's nice and all of that. And then came this time, man. God, it's just, there's this thing. You know, my pastor always says when he's um, doing the the call for people to be to be saved, he says, if we are going to go to another institute, yeah, let's go higher. Yeah, sharp you know, yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. You know that happened to me. God was just saying you need to go there and receive Jesus. You need to go there. And I received Christ that day and I never turned back. Uh, it had its ups and downs, but that yeah. day I received and that's why I remember the exact date. I remember yeah. Yeah. at at school we had this Valentine's Day thing and I was wearing red jeans, uh -huh. a white top, red shoes. Yes. I'll we'll never forget it. I received Christ <laughs> that day. Yeah, that is so beautiful. Okay, let me finish my page. <laughs> I love how it, it isn't you remembering every detail mm. that just goes to show just how much of a turn over or yeah. big moment it was for your life. Yeah. You receive uh, uh, Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Now you want to start this journey. <laughs> and you've made this decision, right? With the assistance of the Holy Spirit. What does it now mean to you uh, 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 to be made, to be created by God? What 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 role does it does it play in, in, in your life? So she's referring to the Bible because she does not want to paraphrase. If that is not being <laughs> serious about God, I don't know. Yeah, no, is. I've got I'm, I'm all about I the word. Know what it I'm is. all about the word, y'all. Right? I really, really am. Mm -hmm. So I mean I just wanna put it I wanna put it just yeah. right. Mm -hmm. It's important. In Psalms uh one one thirty nine verse 13 to 14 it says you made all the delicate inner parts of my body and knit me together in my mother's womb thank you for making me so wonderfully complex i'm going to end it there and this one before i describe this one yeah there's one i want to talk about in jeremiah um one verse verse five which says um i knew you before I formed you in your mm -hmm. mother's womb. Mm -hmm. Before you were born, I mm -hmm. set you apart. Mm -hmm. My mom called me Unobile. Yeah. I want to talk more about that. I mm -hmm. knew you before I formed you in your mother's womb. So before I was formed in my mother's womb, God called me Unobile. Yeah. The word here says, thank you for making me so wonderfully complex. To be born again for me, to mm -hmm. receive Christ for me, means that I, I, I'm not... I'm not just any other being just walking just yeah. roaming around it yeah. means wonderfully complex wonderfully complex means i'm not like any other i'm my own i'm different and not just different but wonderfully so and I, so everything is just is wonderful you know yeah. uh -huh. you know uh -huh. yeah ah oh, man that is so beautiful and there's another i'm reminded now there's another translation which says i get it it starts say hurry before you were formed in your mother was formed i think then he says I sanctified you, Ish. right? That not only did I set you apart, mm. not only did, do I know you and then kahunga kahubeza, but I sanctified you. Mm. Meaning that before we even set foot on this earth, yeah. we already sanctified, sanctified, right? That's so beautiful. Sure. That is amazing. That is amazing. So I think the reason why I had to mention or make mention of young adult space in the theme. That's because I think as a refugee like on a young adult stage, that's mm -hmm. where we yearn more to know what our purpose mm -hmm. is, right? That's where we want to redefine ourselves mm -hmm. on, on, on this earth. There was this other guy who was talking on the radio the other day saying that it's funny how while we are growing up and we are kids, we want to look alike. Mm. I want to have that top. Yes. I also want to go to that school. Yes. I want to, but the minute you reach adulthood, it changes. Mm. Now you want to be different. Mm. Now you want to be unique. unique. You want to, you understand? Mm. So have you, do you think you have found God's purpose for your life? I like that you say that because, you know, it's only now 
as I'm growing older that, that I mean I'm loving my name and rediscovering it to know the name is this mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. yeah that is a story for maybe mm -hmm. another day mm -hmm. definitely I have and I think mostly my passion what 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 lies deep within me is yes. to serve so I think that's what I've been called to do to just serve to serve to serve God not because of my pro profession, which is obviously to the service. Of <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah. it goes deeper than that to serve with your money. The Bible says, I'm um, serve with your tithes and offerings. It is to serve like that. Mm -hmm. Me, um, the videos that I, the short videos that I sometimes do in, in the mornings and the evenings, it is, it, it is to serve God. It, mm -hmm. it, it, it's me like handing myself over to him and saying, before, because before I, 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 I do those videos, it, the message touches me yeah. more than anything yeah. before it yeah. touches someone else. And it's evident. And, you see it. and I think I told you this <laughs> yes, before. You know, it's you, evident. You know, the, 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 the worship is in your eyes. Before mm. we even hear the message, sorry to interject, yeah. before we even hear mm. what you were saying, we mm. see it. Yeah. And that is, that is amazing for me. So yeah. in, in those videos, more than anything, my heart is in the interest of people. Mm. It is to serve people. I'm not I'm not quite sure. I haven't discovered in what way yet. I'm yeah. still yeah. in that process right now. Yeah. But definitely it is just to serve, to serve. Mm. I'm always the first, if we talk about simple serving, I'm always yeah. the first to say, if in Chambe, there's a gathering, yeah. who's going to I will stand up and I'll do it. Mm. At church, if they ask who is going to, I will stand and do it. It's in the service. Mm. I'm an usher. It's man to serve. To okay. serve. Yes, I'm in Right. To serve. Right. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And I love it for you. So, um. And now. Okay. <laughs> Now, the Bible also tells us or teaches us to not conform to mm -hmm. the things of this world, yes. right? And it also goes back, I love how the scripture that you mentioned just keeps on replaying itself. Hori, we were set apart. Mm. That, that is, that is no, no secret, right? Yes. So how do you think, and besides, besides the videos, you guys should, I'm going to add her, um, her what's this thing? What's this thing? Handle. It's the handle on, down there. On, you, must, you must look at her story. It's like very, <laughs> very, very motivational. Yeah. So, <laughs> how do you think you, I think I, I know how you do it, but how do you think you show Jesus to people who haven't received him? Definitely, definitely, definitely by showing the fruits of the Spirit in Galatians 5, uh, I think it's 22 to 23. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't say I think my pastor, hey, <laughs> you're right. You think. <laughs> <laughs> no, we'll write the correct one there just for emphasis. Oh, you have yes. it? Yes, 22 to 23. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Galatians. Galatians 5, 22 to 23. Um, there's this, um, the fruit of the Spirit, which mm -hmm. is, I can mention a few love, kindness, joy, peace, self control, you know, etc. etc. And for me, I think even in the smallest actions, love, for instance. I'm a very affectionate person. I love to give hugs. I love to, you'll feel my love to touch. I mm. smile a lot. Mm. You'll see it. Even when I'm wearing a mask, you'll see it through my eyes and I'm, I'm, I'm smiling. Yeah. You know, peace. I'm a peacemaker. The other day, um, yesterday, my pastor posted a, a, a scripture in, 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 in the church group and he said, blessed are the peacemakers mm -hmm. because they will be called the sons of God. Mm -hmm. So I strive for that. You will never find me if there's conflict in doing it, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, 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 you know, yeah. we should try to, to even, even if there isn't conflict, but even between you and people, you always, I always just want to sit back and, you know, and say, okay, where did you go wrong here? Mm -hmm. I'm not perfect. I'm, I'm still striving for that. Yeah. But yeah, mm -hmm. I'll tell you also a funny story. Mm -hmm. When I talk about peacemakers, mm -hmm. there's this doctor. Yeah. In my unit currently, oh, put my unit currently, I'm jumping <laughs> oh, <move. laughs> oh, he gets like to my nerves, and I, every time I ask, you know, patience is one of them. Yeah, the fruits of the spirit, and I, you know, I've, I've been asking God, please increase my patience because I've got to test you. Yeah, uh, increase my patience. Yeah, because I would be test. ready. <laughs> it's to me. Every time I ask for help, it's not the fact that he's asking for help that annoys me. Yeah. It's the fact that he won't. Try help himself first, then come and ask okay. for help from you. All right. Ask for help after the other day. Sister Kosi, can you please help me with 
already as it's coming i tell myself every time today i'm gonna tell him no i'm not gonna do it yeah as he comes immediately Holy spirit will say what we, i remember these words i remember musa Tindi. it was mm-hmm. no longer Tindi. she's married now but she's musa she was um helping us through our salvation period and all of that at um his people at the time okay she'd always say things like so you every time you want to do something like bad think what would jesus do yeah Never yeah, leaves my mind every time. <laughs> so if he comes, yeah. maybe I'm right, or maybe I'm just standing. Mm. I can remember, I'm like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. immediately it'll be what would Jesus do? Do you know in that five seconds? Yeah, one come up, they just come for yeah. you. Love, no, no. And I'm just like, okay, I'm going to help you, <laughs> but just know that next time you need to be able to know exactly. about the fact that I'm helping him. And it goes to show because in my unit, yeah. We are so many professional nurses. Maybe on a shift, sometimes we're two, three, whatever. Mm-hmm. And I'm always the, the least junior. All mm-hmm. the time. I'm probably the least junior, I couldn't imagine. But doctors and physios and re- all these people always come to me asking for help every time. But I'm really like, Loy. Yeah. There's a sister. Yeah. Um, but really, I'm sister as well. Sister, every single time. And it's not me boasting about me the person yeah. but it's me boasting about the fact that if we listen to what the holy spirit says which we should produce these fruits mm. then he is gonna come out mm. they're not attracted to me as a person yeah. no yeah they're attracted to the beauty of the holy spirit mm. in me mm. Ooh, I love that. so yeah i love that i love it i love it do you have a favorite story in the bible yes okay which one is it <laughs> I'm going to read it, okay. actually. Yeah. Um, I've put a page mark here because mm-hmm. oh, I just love it so much. And it's a, it, everybody, probably most people know this one. It's a very simple and easy one. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, it's um, about the David David and Goliath okay. challenge. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Samuel 17, 34. I'll read from 34 to 37, mm-hmm. which says, But David persisted. I have been taking care of my father's sheep and goats, he said. When a lion or a bear comes to steal a lamb from the flock, I go after after it with a club and rescue the lamb from its mouth. If the animal turns on me, I catch by the jaw and club it to death. I have done this to both lions and bears, and I'll do it again to this pagan Philistine. For he has defied the armies of the living God. The Lord who rescued me from the claws of the lion and the bear will rescue me from this Philistine. Imagine. Mm. Imagine. And when you're reading this, I'm thinking this guy told about a lion. Yes. A lion. Huh. I'll, I'll catch it by the You I, I feel like you must have you must have serious faith and knowledge in the Lord, in the God that you yes. serve, in order for you to you try if, if, why do you like it? Uh, Look at me picture on it. Why do you, why do you like about it? It's not my scripture. It's exactly that. Right? My man, it's exactly right? that. Right? It's it describes the, the Bible in, in Samuel it describes David as the small person who mm-hmm. only had um he he get he get the yeah. yeah. slim something. Yeah, slim yeah. something. Yeah. One shot. <laughs> Against Imagine. a giant. Imagine. Against I'm afraid of dogs. And David is talking about a lion, a lion and a bear. <laughs> hey. My God, my God. So I mean, I love the fact that he's so rooted in his faith, right? and that's what we should just be like right. rooted in our faith. Now, Connor, it goes to show Wuti again. It is not us. It is mm-hmm. not about us. It's not about me. Mm-hmm. Not about. It is mm-hmm. not about us. It's mm-hmm. about God over mm-hmm. and over. And he says. The God who helped me then will do it again. That boosts confidence. Like for me, that boosts my confidence. Would you? Yeah. Yeah. If he did it before, I mean, he will do it again. I mean, right? Mm-hmm. Right? And I think also, oh, I'm thinking someone might be listening to this and thinking you need to have enormous amounts of faith in order for you to believe in this mm-hmm. God. But yet I'm reminded about the scripture where he says, even if you have faith as little as a mustard seed, yes. you know? So let this be encouragement to say, mm. yes, you can start with small faith. It's yes. okay. He says, even if you have faith as l- a small as a mustard seed, you mm. can say to this mountain, move, and it will move. move. And it will move. Mm. I love it. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, let me just check another question. 
is there a biblical character that you feel you are akin to where you when you are reading this you're like this is me david okay the same david funny how <laughs> now you're making me question my life because when i'm picking character i look to the females to the females right so this is very this is very refreshing david david maybe i should go back and find the character. maybe i've been restricting myself david I'm telling you. So it's not a, you know, when, 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 when you ask me that question, even in my head, I'm just thinking, oh, people are going to want that woman. Exactly. Exactly. David. Not Maria, not Uzi. It's David. Right. It, it really is. I love that. It really is because I want, I want to follow my name. I want to go over all the time. Mm -hmm. Not because. And not winning as in, oh, I've won the fight, or maybe I've got... I want to feed in my spirit, Guti. God has taught me something, and because of that, I'm going to win. Or, if I'm not learning anything, I'm going to be very Amen. You know? Amen. My David! Right? <laughs> right? I need to look at the Bible. I feel like I restricted myself. I love it. I love it. I love it. And it's so refreshing that mm. you thought about it in that way. One it's, it's it's very beautiful. Um... Which misconception about Christians would you, I, I don't want to say rectify, because mm -hmm. I don't think our mission here on earth is to be going around fixing stereotypes. Mm -hmm. I was listening to uh, uh, Pastor Sarah the other day, and he says, mm -hmm. God does not need us to defend him. Mm -hmm. he's, he's, he's God himself, mm -hmm. you know, hence the only... Uh, um, instruction he mm -hmm. gave us uh, regarding people was just, just go and tell them about me. That's yes. it. You understand? Mm -hmm. So... I, I don't want to. I don't want to use rectify. Maybe let me just check which word I use. Would you like to hash out? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's a bit gentle. gentle. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The fact that people think that because now you're Christian, you are perfect. Mm. That is just so wrong. Mm. And, and that covers a lot of things because I need people out there they really are sitting with pins. Yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Now she is. Let's mm -hmm. see. Is she doing mm. this? Is she doing? And that I love what you, you quoted what uh, Pastor Sarah said. Yeah, it's not our duty. No. It's like it's, mm -hmm. it's not our role. Mm -hmm. Who is to say uh, we are all at the end of the day not perfect? Exactly. And the fact that you are Christian means that you are somebody who's broken. In fact, we're all a bunch of gr a group of broken people yeah. going to someone who is going to fix all of that mm. mess. And we're trying to press on. You know, Paul says. I'm, I'm not perfect, but I press on. Exactly. You know? So exactly. we should be yeah. pressing on yeah. to reach that yeah. perfection. I love it. I yeah. love it. I love it. Kona, this other Coco who used to say, um, I get it, there's this thing going around, Hori, um, most, I don't know, let me say corrupt for now, most, not corrupt, but wrong characters, most wrong characters mm. are in the church. Yeah. And then this lady said, then I think they're at the right place. They're at the right place. Because if the ill people are in hospital, yeah, then Natu we are at the right place. Yes. You know? I yes. think yeah, I love it. I love yes. it. Yes, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Um how do you think you stay rooted in your faith? Because like you have said, we are not perfect, we live in an unperfect world, you mm. know, and things happen. Abu doctors, Banbani, mm. you have encounters mm. with them. What do you think calls you back to say mm -hmm. this is me, this is where I stand? Yes, it might not look like that now. Mm. Circumstances might be saying something mm. else, but this is this is me. This is where I stand. What do you think keeps you rooted? In I have to say it is the the reason I'm saying this. I'll get yeah. to it. It is the company that I keep. Mm. I want us to move away from that. It is the company that I keep because what if company then disappears? But it is important yeah. to have the right company. It is to the right direction, whatever that right direction mm -hmm. is according to the word. Mm -hmm. What keeps me keeps me rooted is this thing right here. The Holy Bible. I love the fact that you're reading up. I'm like, yo, how does she find the time? How does she? Uh, I'll tell you. I'll now. read yeah. maybe a couple of maybe chapters, but then it, it gets. Ugh, do you know how many? But this one, this yeah. one, yeah. and 
you know, drawing motivation from motivational quotes, from motivating, motivating myself, waking up and saying, you know what, God, today, what do you have in store for me? Help me with that. Because by myself, I cannot. And I, I also want to hash out the thing. As Christians, we think would now that we have received Christ, yeah. we have received this amazing power to do everything on our own. No. It is impossible. No, no, no. it is for, impossible. What does the word say? It is impossible for ch challenges, let me use that word, mm -hmm. to not come. Mm -hmm. But war unto thee, yes. who brings them. Ah. So it does not mean that now you are immune. Yes. Because now you're a Christian, yeah. things are not going to happen. Yeah. They are going to happen. Are. But I think it goes back to what you said. After that, when you mm. yeah. mm. And also you're you know, human as well. Culture. You're bound to make mistakes. How many times have we seen on TV pastors man, man did this and this because they are human as right well. they are human as well right. it doesn't immediately censor you from mistakes now yeah. when you are holy yeah. or white you are mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. yeah. and even in the bible talking about mistakes even in the bible i think there are examples where we can use where people had a human moment mm -hmm. look at when um i'm not good with names i know stories but mm -hmm. i'm not good yeah. with names no, so that guy who walked on waters on water moses moses, moses. moses. Uh -huh. It is. Hey, who walked on water in the Bible? Peter. Peter. Right. Oh. <laughs> Peter walked on water. Google it up so that you see the right thing. My phone is there. No, I believe you. I just want to be sure. Peter. And then I'll apologize <laughs> <laughs> for judging you. Peter answered him and said, Lord, if thou bid thank you, baby. Come. And Peter went down from the boat and walked. Oh, thanks! <laughs> and speaking of, of mistakes, I am reminded of, of, of Peter. When they were sent by Jesus to say, Go and then I'll find you. And then he went up to pray, fast forward, comes back. And then he's walking on water, right? Now, Peter says, and I want us to appreciate his faith in mm. this. He was willing to 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 faith it out, mm. you know. He says, "If it is you, Lord, oh. call me." Oh, do you understand? In your in your I human will. capacity, I will yeah. come. In your human capacity, you're thinking I will come on top of water. What do you mean? Yeah. You understand? And Jesus calls on him, and he comes, and he walks on water. Oh. A, a whole human being. Yeah. But now, what he did is that he then removed his eyes. Mm. And looked into the water, and that's when he I'm sank, shocked. right? And then he sank in. So mistakes are there, even in the Bible. Even those you, your big people, your Peter, do make mistakes. But mm. the good thing, and even in this passage, the good thing is that God was there to rescue him. Mm. So have your faults, yes. But if you are in Christ, mm. I think it makes it just makes it beautifully, you know. Yeah. Ne? Yeah. Right. So um. So off to our last question, all right? Yes. There's someone who might be looking at this and thinking, I want that God, you know? Or um, maybe they've had an encounter with God mm. and things happened along the way. They lost the first love. Mm. And now they're looking at this and they're saying, I want to go back to that first love. Yeah. What would be your words of encouragement to those people? First, I'll speak to the one who who doesn't know God yeah. at all. Yeah. Um, there's a scripture in the Bible that says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all these things will be added. added. Now, when we are reading it, we're reading it in the context. Sometimes we read it, we read it in the context. You will see, seek first the kingdom, then the nice things, the cars, the mm -hmm. materialistic things. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I want to speak to that person, Oti, I cannot come to Christ because I am like this or like this or like this or like this. Seek first the kingdom and everything else will follow. Ukulukuli is such a gentle God. He'll never force you to say, yeah, yeah, like this and this and this. But as you grow more in your mm -hmm. faith and as Holy Spirit, you know, he, he sent you as a comforter, as someone who to guide you, you know, mm -hmm. a gentle yeah. someone. Yeah. All these things are going to just, the one and I will slip away, slip away, and you'll become, you know, yeah. the godly or Christian child you want yeah. to be. 
Yeah. And then I want to speak to the person who was and then fell away. Mm-hmm. I was advised to actually to 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 mention the story of the prodigal son. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The prodigal son, he thought, yay, they got that peel or what is he? Do you know? Yeah. And disappeared. Yeah. yeah. And then when he came back, his father received him with grace. And that's just our God. God is not, like I said before, harsh. He's very gentle. He's a very gentle God. So you will go, he'll stay. But he's so gentle in the fact that Mawuza, he receives you with grace. But when I need to be willing to do the work, to be a Christian is not a one day thing. Mawuza, I'm yeah. a Christian. I'm born again today. I'm saved. Yeah, right. No, it's an everyday choice. It's a choice you have to be willing to make mm-hmm. every single day. Mm-hmm. So you have to be willing to say, I want to come back to God. God is definitely going to, to receive you back. Mm-hmm. He'll never turn you away. He'll never, ever, ever. Right. So come back like the prodigal son. He's just ready for you. Right. I love that. <laughs> I love it. 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 Yeah. Now, Brenda, what's your favorite uh, um, gospel song? You just sang, and I thought of a song. Which, which one is your favorite? You think Grace Love Me? Touch your Oh, so that's yeah. your favorite? No, that's yours. That's my favorite. And I know what oh, no, you have. Oh, I have a favorite. I, yeah, I do. Mm, Jehovah is your name. My oh, Mighty Warrior. Yeah. Great in battles. Right? <laughs> right? <laughs> no man that was beautiful that was beautiful thank you so much for taking your time out coming and having this talk with me i appreciate it and i believe that heaven is well represented through you you know and i think that's one of the yes my my first encounter of liking you was your confidence (laughs) which you now have um cemented that it comes from god and i love that right and now we come back to your social media i love how you use your social media as a continuous ministry Mm -hmm. and i was busy nodding when you're saying um yours is is, is to be of service Mm -hmm. and i I can attest to that i feel Mm -hmm. like your life is a continuous service or Mm sermon because every time when you hop on you're like God said this. Mm. God, like, even though sometimes I'm like, ooh. <laughs> you know? But I love that. <laughs> what does he mean? Did you not mention that? Oh, that's <laughs> <personal. laughs> but our ministries are different. They oh, are. Ministries are different. Our ministries are different. different. They are. They are. And I think you would need to find peace in in, in understanding your purpose. Mm. Rick Warren, there's, there's, a, there's a book, um, um, the. the the purpose driven life mm. it says we were made for god <laughs> i'll tell you remind me to say bible and i'll tell you something <laughs> it says we were created by god mm. for god mm. and until we understand that mm. we are far from understanding our purpose mm. you know and so i feel uh, sometimes about purpose being I know now we are out of the questions, but sometimes I feel like we need, we want to think about purpose as something very hard. Yeah. For a man, I'm, it must, or, or I must be sleeping and I must hear this <laughs> word that says you are a, a nurse or you are, you understand? But I feel like God is not that complicated. Yes. God is not that complicated. And if I were to, it's not, it's not in the Bible, don't quote me, it's not in the Bible, but I feel like whatever it is that brings you contentment mm. when you do it and you feel like yeah. mudimu receives the glory in it i feel like you are not far from mm. finding your purpose right so i said you must say bible and i remember bible. the reason why i <laughs> <laughs> i can't sit down and read the bible like and, and be fully focusing okay. So what I do is that I buy Christian based books, mm. and what I what I love about them is that at yeah, the end of the whatever it will refer mm-hmm. you, mm-hmm. then I can go because now I'm thinking yo, where am I even gonna start? Mm-hmm. You know, so it makes it easier for yeah, me well, to read the Bible like that. It goes back you're to you're like my sister. My sister is exactly like that. Mm-hmm. She can't mm-hmm. just be sitting and unless she opens it, well, yeah, or whatever. But yeah, she. she he reads all these books about Akin right. Yobo. Yeah. Uh-huh. I mean, uh-huh. <laughs> but I love it. And then I think it goes back to what we're saying, confidence mm. in God. And then we said there's something I wanted to say while you were busy talking. Yeah, okay. Let's add this one. I need to talk to the Dilubu Jan Bushibuti. Thanks for coming out. So you want that to be there? Amy. 
watch your thing right now. You yes. want to speak. I want to speak. <laughs> the viewers expressed by Nobila are not those of me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, try, I'm trying to say <laughs> Oh, okay. Alright. Okay. Thank yes. you. <laughs> no, you know when you know when you're having someone who is who is what can I say? Who whose tongue can, whose tongue can just go with G. You understand? You know how they always write the views expressed yes. by. Yeah. So this is me trying to say if she doesn't say anything nice, the views are not ours. It's hers. Okay. okay. So I want to I'm say silent. thank you. I mean, thank you for this opportunity as well. Miss Bonnie. Oh my word, guys! You know, I I I, I want to tell you too, when you said you want you would like to interview me, and 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 I went and I was just like, yo, God, let me just meet up happy. Hey. <laughs> and make it about me. Yes. So today, yeah. When when as I was telling you that when I was coming here, I wanted to wear this other green jumpsuit, and I just wanted to be flowy but look nice, you know. See, keep it part, please. Okay. <laughs> okay. You know, I wanted to be flowy and look nice. Mm. And then I heard the Holy Spirit saying, "No, be there." I'm I'm telling you, literally as I'm about I'm taking it out. Yeah. Like, okay, I'm, I still you know I always just yeah. do all these things, stand and look as you're going to represent you represent me well. Mm -hmm. What am I gonna wear? I don't I don't know. I took out <laughs> these pants, I'm like, yeah. okay, but this is thing. I don't have this other no, no. like oh okay. Yeah. But I want the yellow, you know? Yeah. I was just going on and on and on. And uh -huh. it was just Holy Spirit taking this out. Why am I making reference yeah. to this is because i wanted to say Guti, Gush Guti, Ugulunguli is serious about not just this interview mm. but this youtube channel altogether he takes what you have started your craft or what you have started very seriously mm. and i'll tell you why he sees your heart in that this is when i met miss Bande. yes the views to <laughs> expressed i met you my first year at Enlatsky Nursing College, mm -hmm. you were in the SRC and I went to the camp. At the camp, so the SRC, they were, were preparing food for us and then they wanted uh, people to help. So I, I offered to help. I, I came into the kitchen. I remember I was chopping this. <laughs> yeah. onions. And then I kept saying, who was or what or what? And you came in and said, guys, I mean, guys, really? You can't, you know? I will never forget you were wearing the SRC top. Uh, you had a bun. Oh my word, and you're so right. I mean, I, I, I you know, know, as a detail, I did. You were so right that I did have You had a bun. <laughs> and, yeah. Mm. And why I'm making reference to that as well? Because, I mean, I'm going to say, 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 i am like we, there are bigger mm -hmm. <laughs> problems to deal with. Mm -hmm. Can we right. deal with the bigger right. problems? Right. Discuss food, mm -hmm. and then just made me think about even your posts, the, the 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 testimonies you were sharing about when you were younger, and you know how it was through grace that you even got this far. And and you know it just so I prayed on this. I'm like, God, when I come on this show, yeah, please. <laughs> right. Let it be about you and the beautiful mm. thing that you have created. You're right. Yeah. You're right. You know. Right. So yeah. I love it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And now you're making me have a, a enclosed a, a bit of a vulnerable um mm. what's the shape. Mm -hmm. Another thing, I think I, I don't think I told you this. Mm -hmm. But another thing why I love how you carry yourself is that remember that last question of uh, maybe someone had an encounter mm -hmm. and then things happen there was a phase in my life where I felt something happened and you know there's when when things happen in your life when you are like a serious uh, uh, Christian who who has great communication with mm -hmm. God you're always able to bounce back to mm -hmm. say okay yes. God 
what what did you want me to mm. learn here you know mm. and you can sit it out and god tells you it's okay yeah. no this is what i wanted you to know you know mm. but from this one thing in particular i just couldn't understand you know to right. say why what, you know it, it, it doesn't make sense okay not why because that was my question here mm. but what is it i don't i don't understand what needs to happen you know so it is through finding your page where it reminded me of that love for God. It reminded me, <laughs> I promise you, of that connection. And I think this is what I want back, you know? Mm. So continue, G. Continue because we see it and some of us are resuscitating the love. Mm. There are people who look at this and they want it. They've never seen it, they want it. Mm. There are people who look at this, they had it and things happen and now they're trying to, mm. and they're reminded you, they're motivated by seeing it, you know? Mm. So you are carrying the, the, the kingdom very well, trust me. So that's why it was important that you have this ah. discussion, you know? So yeah, man, thank you so much for coming. I can't wait to see it, right? <laughs> And thank you guys so much for using your data to watch this. I hope that this motivates you somehow. I pray that this reassures you just how much God loves us, just how much God is for yeah. us. You know, it doesn't matter what has happened. It doesn't matter what is going on now. Mm. God is saying, just come to me. Just come. Right? Come. Right? And then, and, and, oh, okay. Uh, come to mm. me. Uh, you oh, yeah, were, broken, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. And throw your things unto me mm -hmm. and um, there's this pastor who says god is not even concerned about etiquette he does not say come place them at my feet yeah or bring them on the silver yeah. platter he says just throw them at me just right them. throw them at me so yeah. we hope this motivates you to say whatever that is happening regardless of everything that is happening come to god he's waiting for you and just like the uh, 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 father mm -hmm. on the prodigal son with open arms he will yeah. welcome you Yes. 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 Thank you so much. <laughs> 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 <laughs>